when I was just coming out of a coma, I was kind of awake, but not fully. My dad would come and see me in the mornings. And some days he would come at the wrong time. I wouldn't be awake, but he would give me this. Have a good day. Love, Dad. Hope this will help your feet. He left me a foot massager one day. Hi, son. Sorry I missed you. I love you, Dad. With his signature. So my dad wasn't a big give up type dude. He already knew. Your boy's going to wake up. And he might even skateboard again today. And if you've been watching my YouTube channel... I be at the gym on a skateboard and nobody else in there they just looking like wait a minute is that guy on a he's not doing tricks but like I wouldn't be standing on one of them it's strange but not really it's, it's what I do baby I fall down and get hurt sometimes I get hurt real bad real bad but I come back I don't stop I don't give up Hope that helps you. Yeah, I was given a uh, a plaque by my platoon at Fort Classified, and I don't really think I deserved it. It was like, thanks for all the hard work. I was just thinking, does anybody else know? Like, if it's thundering and lightning out here. And all this rain, why are we marching right now? It's 200 pounds on my back, cuz we in the mud. Does anybody think that's not a good idea? It's good training. They say, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. I said, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. But all right, Sergeant, get right on that. You say we gotta change the tire on that thing with this much mud? Hell, I can't even get over to it. It's in, The five ton is sunken completely. If it didn't have a snorkel, it wouldn't be working. I don't know how it's still on. And how is the kid pushing the gas pedal still in the... Why, why didn't he just leave? Dedication to a mission that you don't understand. Why do we train in the woods, Vietnam training, for a war in the desert? Does anybody else think that was a little... Odd? Anyways, I was in a coma, sort of. I was in a coma for real. But then on my way out, I was like sort of awake, but still kind of, you know, you know how them comas be. Now I'm coma intolerant. I might get knocked out for a while, have a brain surgery or something. I don't be staying in comas that long. Feel unwelcome. So daddy will come see me and leave me a note. Have a good day. I love you, dad. Hi, son. Sorry I missed you. I love you, Dad. And just knowing that he was amped up, even just seeing me sleep, he was like, yo, that's, he ain't dead. <laughs> he, no, cause see, that's my son right there. He ain't dead. If it was anybody else's son, he'd be dead. But see, that's, that's your boy. That's your boy's boy right there. It's, it's, it's Little Richard. So don't call me Little Richard. I think that might be the last thing I told him. Stop calling me the little Richard. That's not... You're not that big, and I'm not little. Don't tell people that shit. But he was an awesome dude. But very weird. So, like, I always wondered. Is he in there peeing in a jar? I don't even want to know. I'm going to just go outside and skateboard. I can't be looking at that. Why does it always smell like stankin' weed in here? <laughs> a single wide never gets bigger anyways I don't die I don't give up I don't stop I mean one day I will die eventually fully be like fully full on dead but the Bible said Jesus gives eternal life that's because it takes forever to read the Bible I don't know if you ever sat down and was like page one in the beginning there were the heavens and the earth and already you're like but so then, the chicken and the egg, who came? Who brought these chickens and these eggs with? I mean, they're good if you cook it right. Anyways, I'm trying to motivate you. Now I'm getting silly because I see with a brain injury, you're not going to get rid of the scar. And you don't get rid of the deficits. It just 
they're just there. So I have what they call hyperverbosity. Oh, ain't that cute? Got a little hyperverbosity. You just you have it right here on on your arm. You got it swallowed up. You got my hyperverbosity with me. What's that? It means I got that mouthpiece. But it's a lot of other stuff. Like I got tangents in my mind. Watch, I can go ten different, ten thousand different things. Okay, how are how are miles and centimeters similar? Forms of measurement. How is how are words and sonar similar? Forms of transfer forms of uh, communication. Words, humans speak them to communicate. Sonar, we use that to find fish in the ocean. That's how whales and dolphins talk to each other. I ain't never heard of whale-dolphin conversation. I wonder if whales and dolphins talk to each other on different frequencies. Or if they're so far apart that whales talk to whales and dolphins like, I'm going to mess with whales. Might, might, get us, might get us in trouble. I ain't trying to be out here killing sharks all day. It must be cool being a dolphin, right? Like, you're just out there swimming fast and eating fish and chilling, <laughs> making fun of humans, jumping around at, right outside their boats. Ah, y'all trying to take pictures? Y'all came right quick enough. Watch me do 3,000 somersaults. <laughs> and every now and then, you get tired. No, dolphins don't sleep. They don't be getting tired. They have a sleep-wake cycle of just wait. See, because a dolphin is woke. Dolphins don't claim one gender or another. They're like, hey, it's, it's one for all, all for one out here in the dolphin world. That could be an, uh, an aquarium of its own. Just dolphins, that's it. Dolphin world, call it, call it dolphin pod. But don't they travel in pods? Most fish travel in schools. Birds, they flock. Damn, we kind of like the birds because we flock to a sale. As soon as we see this Black Friday sale at Walmart, <laughs> there'd be 500 F-150s in the parking lot. Yeehaw! We're going to get us an Eagle Talon on, on the low. Heard it's thirty six ninety nine this weekend. Yeah, Kalidis, you're right. The Eagle Talon from Daisy. With a 150 paintball hopper. That's right. I had one when I was a kid. That's before I learned how to make a potato rifle. Hoo-hoo-hoo, a potato gun, yes. Hit a trailer with a potato gun. You might, you might knock the whole thing off its, uh, off its little bricks. You ever seen a Salvador Dali painting? Where it's like a house up in the sky and it's got long legs? That's what my trailer looked like. Bunch of bricks stacked up. Trailer looked like, oh, we got, we got, we got a, um, is that a two-story? No, nah, it's a bunch of bricks. Daddy liked to move the trailer around. Why is the oven on the other side of the kitchen tonight? Nah, Daddy was out there with the bricks again. All right. I'll deal with it. The refrigerator's in my room one day. What? I mean, it's convenient if it worked. But it's half in the room, half out, and it's on its side. So, you know, I can't... Do much with a refrigerator on its side. I'm looking like, well, you know, if it, you know, if it would have worked out better, it would have, um, it would have been better. But you know, growing up in a single wide, pre-manufactured home, trailer park to be a dick. Growing up in a pre-manufactured um community, everybody was on the struggle. Like we all had a similar understanding. Oh, what's your daddy do? He do concrete? All right. What's your daddy do? Oh, mine do carpentry, wood, hammers and shit. What's your daddy do? Drugs. Selling or, or, or he just do them? Well, our neighbor does them, but my daddy, he sell them. Wow, that's convenient. Your neighbor is the addict and your daddy is just whipping on the stove all day. That's his full-time job. Selling drugs to the neighbors. Trailer park life, baby. Trailer park. Pre-manufactured homes. Yes, it's big business for some folks. Go out there to the Lake Pierce Ranchettes. 
going down fast trot trail. And we're stop when you see a when you see a longhorn and take a ride on a longhorn. Skrrr, right up longhorn. Now you're going north. Then hit that stop sign. Skrrr. That's what every car sounds like in my mind. Every car. <laughs> Whether you're hitting the gas or the brakes. See, that's a eighty that's a ninety seven impala. I want one with a horn to go dun 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 my friends I'ma save you. I'm gonna spare you with that. So leave me something in the comments. What you think about beard? I don't care. Anyways, till we see each other again. Well, you seeing me, I'm not really seeing you right now. But if you like and subscribe, then we're kind of seeing each other. It's, it's official if you subscribe. We'll see. For now, peace.